Hello, Jazz Energy here, welcoming you to an episode of Stellaris. I'm happy to see you all. We're in 2215. Let's get to work. Oh, pick up the speed a little. Special project complete. Void unclouded. The void clouds are, as far as Lucario researchers can tell, among the oldest entities in the universe. They seem to have originated just a scant few billion years after matter, as we know it first appeared. The tremendous forces of the young cosmos making something out of nothing. They would have been stars once, but were not. Explaining their apparent animal intelligence is more difficult, but the answer might lie in the abnormally strong electromagnetic fields that keep them together, another product of their primordial beginnings. It is not inconceivable that, given enough time, the circulation of its strange stardust and gra gravitic fields aligned in a flexible approximation of neural pathways. Moreover, the clouds seem to be receiving impulses from one another if not outright communicating, light years apart. Quantum entanglement is su suspected to play a role in this phenomenon. Humbling. Recon pass completed. Hey, I don't know why they're not showing the names all the way, but oh well. Floral fascination. Several plants native to Thabit Prime, where we recently established a colony, exude copious amounts of a pollen with an astounding chemical complexity. A special research project has been prepared for further study of this flora. New sit rep. Nice. Oh, I need a science ship in orbit. Okay, where is it? Thabit. Oh, we'll send. I'm up to research that project. What's everyone else doing right now? Alright. Alright, well the city district's being built, so... They're all good. Wow, that's... Must have been an update to Stellaris overall since, uh... I last played, because this is new. Construction complete. We have made first contact with mysterious aliens in the Libertera system. That's our home system. How'd we just find them? For now, we have codenamed them He Aliens until we can find out more about them. If they possess a language, we should decipher it so that we can assess how much of a threat they pose. Construction complete. Oh boy, wait, hold on. We have made first contact with mysterious aliens in the Libertera system again. For now, we have codenamed them New Aliens. Until we can find out more about them, if they possess a, a language, we should decipher it so that we can assess how much of a threat that they pose. Alright, alright. What's going on here? Christopher will do the He Aliens, and Wilhelm Wilhelmina von Falkenstein and a mouthful will do the new aliens. Hopefully they don't get pissed that they can't pronounce her name. Anomaly found. Oh boy, that is... Oof, it's gonna be a while for him to research. Alright, Manfred, go get her. Construction complete. Oh, constructions are finished. 
gonna send this construction ship up here. Keep it going. Oh, we can build something else now. Anything mineral related? Does not appear so. How many minerals will this cost? What are we spending here? All right, we're gonna throw up a research lab. Oh, that's just Tisha's park there. Special project complete. Pistol pondering. On closer examination, the plants native to Thabit Prime turn out to be rather dull. Oh, some excrete pollen that have a mild stimulating effect, and they are likely to have a propensity for rapid genetic change. Hardly uh, impressive enough to warrant adopting as a strategic or luxury resource. Boo. Construction complete. Okay. Back to work. Back to the old grind. Uh oh. Marine Kareen. Olfactory arousal. Long-term exposure to the pollen naturally occurring in Thabit Prime's atmosphere acts on the colonists' pheromone receptors with a mild aphrodisiac effect, accompanied by a barely perceptible high. The plant that produces the most potent strain is a flower common to all areas of the planet, squirreled away into some obscure taxonomic nook by scientists on Thabit Prime, but known in the local Lucario dialect as Marine Kareen. Okay, it's just like boosting happiness, so why not? Oh. Oh. Structured signals. We have picked up readings of an unknown nature. The signals seem to follow some kind of repeating syntax which could indicate sapient origin. It should be investigated further. They seem to be concentrated around a single space station, though it is unclear whether this forms part of a larger spacefaring civilization. Okay. Well, my computer is currently running low on storage space, so this episode might be cut a little short. Uh, wait, I had a plan. I forget what it was. Do I want to do discovery next? Yeah, we'll do discovery next. So this episode's probably just going to be a tenor. So that... Science division report success. Construction complete. New research. Uh... Done with the picture star face. Science division success. Yeah, we'll cut this video off around the... 10 minute mark just so I don't accidentally overrun and blot out my computer. I'm gonna have to clear up a little bit of space. Oh. Unknown vessels. The Libertera system appears to be home of an advanced society of unknown origins. Drawing in a series of space stations across the system, Envoy Christopher McLaughlin has observed multiple crafts flitting between them, as well as several larger expeditions leaving the system for unknown purposes. They seem to be broadcasting repetitive but not particularly content-filled signals in our general direction, a development which has confused our linguists but may help them translate their language. Troubling. Construction complete. All right, we got construction complete down there. Hello, lobby. Is 
send them down there. And we'll, okay, with that, we'll close out this episode. We figured out stuff about the void clouds. Found a plant that makes people high. And we ran to two random aliens that are right in our own land. So that's slightly concerning, but... I hope you join me for the next episode of Solaris, and the next episode coming up on the channel overall will be a War Thunder episode, so if you like War Thunder, be sure to check that out. Stellaris will be sometime next week, but I will see you then. Jazz out!